Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. Today's video I am so excited for. Last video I said that I wasn't going to be going to the bins because I wasn't really comfortable with going to the bins because of the area that it's located in. So I actually decided to go and um, I wanted to share my experience with you guys. Honestly, it was not that bad. So I am just going to share my experience with you guys and show you guys everything that I got. Um, I didn't feel comfortable filming in there um, because I've heard a lot of different YouTubers say that they don't really appreciate you filming in um, there. So I didn't bring my camera and I didn't even take a picture out front, which is what I really wanted to do, but I totally forgot. I was just so excited with how the experience went. So I just wanted to come on here and share with you guys because I know for me at least, I watched a ton of people and um, you know, you don't really know how it is until you experience it for yourself. So first things first, I get there, I wore gloves because I was not about to touch everything, especially with everything going on. I just felt a lot safer with gloves on. So my mom and I brought gloves and when we took them off at the end, they were dirty. Like you could literally see the dirt like remnants like on the gloves. So that was pretty disgusting, but I'm glad that we brought gloves. So if you are going and planning on going, um, I would definitely bring gloves. Now for me, it must have been a little different because I did go later at night. I went around four and they closed at six. I went on a Sunday. So they didn't bring out any new bins while I was there. So I don't know with COVID if they do the new bin things, which I'm sure they do. But I also think because I went there closer to closing time. Um, and so I guess they base it off the amount of people in there. When I first got there, I'd say there's about 30 people in there, um, but it was pretty spread out. So it didn't feel like crowded or anything. And then as soon as we were getting ready to leave, we were literally the last people to check out in there. So that was kind of cool. You f I felt like I had all the bins to myself. It definitely was not crazy. So that was nice and easy. There was some situations where it was like just let the person have the bin because you're like it's really not that important to me so if someone's like scavenging and like looking for certain things just let them look and kind of back off uh, I mean that personally that's what I do I mean if you really in there you know to salvage with those people then do it but for me I was like let like let whoever wants the bin more than I do have it. I was just digging through and once I would dig, there was no one next to me, so I would just throw everything into another bin. So by the time I left to another bin, it was almost a little empty. I mean, I would put the stuff back in it, but to make it a little bit easier, you have to really get down into the bottom, I'm telling you most of the good stuff that I found was hidden down at the bottom. One of the things that I was really upset about because when you go to a normal Goodwill, they really look for holes and things like that because people will try to get more money off if they catch a hole and stuff. So they're really good at my Goodwill at least. Everything I bought, I've never found a hole in. Um, but I pick up something really good. Like I found a bunch of Hurley and Billabong stuff brand like literally brand new and i was like you know what there's got to be something that i'm not i'm missing because if this is still here at this time of the night there's something that's wrong so i looked and there would be holes in most of the stuff so or big stains um big tears a lot of pilling so a lot of the stuff is usually pretty damaged at these places so just make sure you're really looking at the contents of the clothes and making sure that you're really looking for all the holes rips tears um you know the damages to the clothes because you know there are going to be tons of that so i did buy a sweater did have a hole in it but i already patched it up i did buy another flannel the uh, button was cracked so on the inside I looked and there was another button so I just sewed a new button on so definitely uh, if you find stuff give it a chance if you're kind of crafty and handy like that if it's a small fix then it's pretty worth it so I went in there I did get a lot of mall brands and a lot of um, bread and butter brands but I was totally okay with that because at the end I believe I paid $14 and 19 cents I rounded up to 15 so $15 um, and I got about 17 pieces. So by the time I broke that down, that is a really good, I guess, cost of goods. So even if you sell it for $10 and only get $7, that's still a really great turnover. So I'm going to show you guys everything that I got. I definitely plan on going back again. For me personally, I wouldn't be the person waiting in line in the morning. I'll just go whenever, probably later in the afternoon is what I'm planning on doing. I don't plan on going 
right as they open but definitely try i'll probably try it out one time once i feel a little bit more comfortable but i do plan on going back again so i went to the one that was in orlando because that's where i'm located so it wasn't awful but um, i definitely would wait later in the day to go while there's not that many people in the store but if you do want to get the better items i bet you have to go during like the opening so it's kind of whatever you guys feel comfortable with uh, but like i said definitely i would wear gloves and then i have my mask on so i couldn't really smell anything anyway so it worked out perfectly fine um but yeah if you guys have any questions about my experience there or you know any other things that i would be missing just ask me down below and i'll be able to answer them obviously every goodwill outlet is going to be different but that was just my experience and i wanted to share it with you guys so let's just get into what i found I said I found a lot of mall brands and um, their brands are I mean mall brands are fine but if you're gonna be buying them at Goodwill for five six ten dollars it's not worth it because that's pretty much all you're gonna be getting for it so this first thing that I found was this it feels literally brand new but it's a polo Ralph Lauren nice polo top um, you can see I looked there was a bunch of fake polo there so you have to be careful for that I believe this is real, but if you guys don't think it's real, let me know down below. Um, but it's just a really nice um, blue Polo Ralph Lauren shirt. Like I said, the material was super nice and comfortable, and it's a classic fit, so it's a size medium. So I just figured that this was a great pickup, something easy that should sell pretty quick, um, but not for too much money. So I just thought it was nice, and it felt new. There was no holes in it, so I had to get it. I only have Poshmark right now. I don't have like Depop, Mercari, um, any of those. So everything that you guys do see will be listed on my Poshmark. So if you guys do want to go and purchase anything you guys see in this video, it will be all listed on my Poshmark. Next thing that I got was a long sleeve Under Armour. This was in wonderful condition as well. You can't really pass up on Under Armour if it's that cheap at the bins. So I had to pick it up. Nice on the back. Literally brand new. Like... The tag here, you can barely, like, it's barely even worn, so it's a size large. This was also a nice color for, like, winter. Oh, I thought this was great. I mean, it could be for women's, too, but it's definitely a men's. Um, but long sleeve, and it has that nice dry fit material, so it's super comfortable. So, had to pick that up as well. This next thing is a pair of loft shorts. They're kind of like a midi length. I thought more of a modest pair, but just have a few rips in it to make it super cute. They're size 25, and they were in really good condition. And so, you know, I only got these for about way less than a dollar. So I was like, that's definitely worth a pickup. And um, since it is Florida, I don't find much long sleeve things. So people are definitely looking for short sleeve items, you know, sp spring and summer items still because they are traveling to places like Florida still. And it's a lot warmer here than it would be in like Minnesota or like Chicago right now. So definitely make sure you do have um, pretty much all the seasons in your closet all year round. This next piece that I have is a Land's End, also another size large. It's like a cashmere. Oh, it's not cashmere. It's like a crew neck pullover. It's super nice. All this stuff felt like it was in really good condition, and this color is really nice for the winter, so I was like, let me pick that up. Next piece I wish was my size because I would keep this. It's so, so cute. It is from Old Navy, but it's this cute, like, winter beige with red and i guess like i guess it's like red and white but i thought that was so cute it's a size small but i wish i could wear this because i think this is so cute but yeah this is also great for the upcoming season so i was like mm, yes please next piece i was kind of unsure of because the material is kind of like a towel material if that makes sense it's 100 percent cotton so it's it's cotton but it's a vineyard vines men's polo and I know Vineyard Vines doesn't do super well, or it does well, but it doesn't sell for a lot, but I was fine with that. Even if I were to get 20 bucks for this, that's good for me. It's a nice yellow and navy blue with a little bit of a red on the stripes, if you guys can see that. And then just the back. But polos are always great to pick up. Men's stuff does sell pretty good for me, so... Always try out the men's clothes too. There's a lot, a ton of kid stuff. Other thing that I didn't really like was the fact that everything was mixed in. I mean, obviously I was not expecting it to be very well organized, but everything is mixed in. You have kids, you have plus size items, you have extra small items, like everything is just mixed in. So it's just a free for all. The one that had the hole in it, but I already stitched it up and you can't even tell it was like right here. Um, so I was like, all right, can stitch that up. It's a Van Heusen Argyle pullover sweater. 
this is super in argyle right now so i was like let me try this out and see how it does so i thought it was nice just gray and then these colors are great for this the seasons right now so i definitely thought that was a great pickup this is the flannel the buttons one of them right here was cracked so I just took out the button on the bottom. So if you look on the inside of like shirts or like wherever, pants too, um, there's like a little, um, on the inside of the tag, if it's still in there, the button should usually still be there. So I just ripped the button off and sewed it right back onto the shirt. So that was nice that it was still in there. But I just thought the flannel was super nice. I sold a flannel last week. So I was like, that gives me some hope that people still like flannels. I mean, I still like them, but I just don't wear them as often because it's just too hot here. But I thought that was a nice color because it's like, boyish but it's also like girlish so you know you can get both people to buy it so this next piece i wish also fit me because i love this color i mean obviously it's not really the same color but you know so i got this it's a from universal thread which is a target brand um it's a size small which probably won't fit me but i wish it did just a cute little it's like a flannel but it's not clearly um but it's just a nice button down top and it's that new nice super flowy material so i thought that was cute this color is super in right now so i definitely wanted to make sure that i picked this up this next piece is a pack sun jacket but the where you pull it for the hoodie the piece the string is out so that kind of stinks but i put that in there and most of the time people don't really care about that i mean personally i don't some people do but uh, but it's from Sun, and I just thought it was a nice like tribal print hoodie and the material is super nice It's in really good condition. So I was like, yeah, this is great But Yeah, it's like a nice tribal print. So I thought that was cute I don't know. I would wear this this shirt. I picked up for myself um, It's a really cute top. My birthday is the day before Valentine's Day. It's an extra large So I don't know if it's gonna fit, I haven't tried it on yet, but it's an apartment nine, which is nothing really, or APT, I don't know what that stands for, apart, I just say apartment nine. Uh, but it's a cute, like, heart material, it's kind of sheer, but I thought this was so cute for my birthday and like around Valentine's Day, so I picked it up for myself, but that was the only thing that I found. I mean, there's definitely other things that I would've picked it for myself, but I didn't want to be spending too much on myself. I went in there for the point of looking for stuff to resell. This next piece is also so cute. I, I mean, I probably could fit into it. It's a medium, but if it doesn't sell, then <laughs> might as well be mine, right? So, um, like I said, this is a size medium. It's from the brand Sanctuary. Um, this is a Nordstrom Rack brand, I believe. So it's definitely a little bit more on the pricier side. So I do have this listed um, right now. I do have everything listed except for two pieces. This one's listed, I believe, at like 32, but it's so cute. I love how it's like a stripe with like a knit on the side, like the sleeve. Um, it's super comfortable. It's in such good condition, and I just thought this was super, super cute. I'm so sorry that all I use is the word super cute or cute or adorable. <laughs> it's really nice material, and like I said, in really good condition v-neck, so that's always great. And this is the back. So like I said, a lot of basic pieces, but um, I did find some cute stuff. So I hope a lot of this stuff will sell. Next piece I got, um, it's a Jurassic Park or Jurassic World t-shirt. It's just a nice color. I know graphic tees do pretty well. So I was like, let me try it out and see how it does. Um, the color was nice too. So, and the, it was in pretty good condition. So I was like, let me just try it out and see how it does. So nothing has sold so far. So fingers crossed stuff starts moving really fast i'm a part-time reseller i'm not full-time so hopefully one day in the future i can be full-time um but for right now i'm only part-time so i only make about a few sales a week but any type of sale i get i really love um and i really enjoy making sales Let's hold up we're almost there i know this is a pretty long video so far um but i bought another pair of loft shorts these are a little bit shorter um and they are folded here so i think these are really cute they have little paint stains on them i have shorts like these and i love them i think they're so cute they're also in really good condition and i thought they were so cute also suggest that you make sure i mean i feel like this is obvious but just make sure you do wash everything because you don't know if that could have been on dirty underwear or if that was you don't know where this, these clothes came from so i really do suggest making sure that you guys wash the clothes everything's already been washed before this haul and steamed so they're extra clean so don't worry the brand pink does really well so i thought i would pick this up 
my mom actually found this and I was like, eh, what the heck, let me pick it up and see how it does. It's just a pink gray t-shirt. On the pocket it says, take me away. So I thought that was nice. It's in really good condition, has the pink on the back and then, you know, it's a little, it's like cropped so that I thought that was really cute too. It is a size extra small, so. I have a lot of pink in my closet, Pink Victoria's Secret, and all of it is in brand new condition. And it's not, sell like, it'll sell, but it takes a little bit of time. And I see people sell it super quick, so I might have it listed too high. And really does really well. And if you can get it, like I've been saying this whole video, if you can get it for that cheap, you might as well just pick it up. Next thing that I got, basically I got a lot of loft. Um, but I thought this was so cute, I wish it was in my size. Um, but it's a loft petite. A uh, small petite romper and the uh, it's like a so it's like an embroidered romper and I thought it was so cute the bottom down here little romper I thought the material was super cute black and white is also a very popular colors and it's pretty sheer so it's not see-through but it's definitely sheer um, but I thought this was so cute I do have this one listed as well and I hope it does pretty well because I would wear this but it's just too small for me so Basically, when I shop, I basically look for everything that I would wear um, and some, so. It was so cute. If this doesn't sell, I will probably end up wearing it myself, but it's brand new without, or brand new with the tag. Where did I, where did I see? I think this brand is, I don't know where it's sold actually, but it says, tell your dog I said hi. It's brand new, feels super comfortable. So I have this steamed and ready on my Poshmark. It's so, so soft. It's like that soft material. I don't know, probably could see what it is on the inside here. Let me look real quick. It's 52% cotton, 48 polyester, but when polyester is new, it feels so soft. So I thought this was also super cute. That is everything that I found and that was my experience at the Goodwill bins. I will definitely be back so I hope you guys are ready for some more haul videos and hopefully next time I'll be able to film in there pretty secretively. So if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe down below. Once again, if you do guys want to purchase anything that you guys did see in this video, it will be listed on my Poshmark. My Poshmark is Lauren Payone. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!